Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with your weekly reading and love message from your person. So we have four piles and you can choose by number one, two, three, four, or you can choose Aladdin and Jasmine, uh, Mulan and Li Chang, Tiana and Naveem, <laughs> and Cinderella and her prince. So let's take a deep breath in. Close your eyes, release your breath. Blow it out through your mouth. Open your eyes. Now you can choose by your with your eyes your favorite picture, whichever one you resonate most with, but you can also just let your heart be your guide no matter what the picture symbolizes, let spirit take you to the pile that's meant for you. You can choose by number or time stamp, but ultimately choose with your heart. Let's begin. Okay, first we have Aladdin and Jasmine. And let's get a Princess Lennerman message first. See what's going on in this connection. Uh-oh, obstacles in the way. But there is attraction here. There's a very strong attraction, but something's getting in the way. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, so surprise is going to, to overcome whatever obstacles have been maybe in the way, maybe no longer. Maybe this is going to surprise you and come through kind of quickly. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Ooh, we have the full. That's that feels so exactly what I was thinking. It was like uh some action, some travel, some adventure, some excitement up until this point. There has been reason why it hasn't been able to take off or launch, but now something is coming through. Something is making this path open. But it does take courage and a leap of faith. <laughs> oh, look at that. You have the four, the six of wands. Okay. Oh, six of wands. A famous person coming through. Somebody who's beloved, well-known, um, just revered in the community. Somebody. Somebody. Okay. And um, there's going to be this kind of defensive this makes me feel like guacamole dream <laughs> but there's this kind of sense that you have to defend your connection defend it so it's going to be sort of in the public eye i feel like it's going to be a connection that people see and in some cases you might have to defend but because and maybe also because it happened so suddenly so surprisingly and um like the outside um, people, connections, friends, relatives, whoever might be, weren't exactly prepared for it, which is not their problem, right? But it's like, at the same time, you know, it is something that you're going to have to deal with as far as other people are concerned. Let's go like that. All right, let's get a few more messages here. And he's got some springtime messages. What are the feelings in bloom?
overloaded. I can, I only take on what I can handle. Okay. Okay. It's, it makes me feel like I, uh, that saying about God only gives me what I can handle. And so there is something big and major, a surprise, a change. It's exciting. It's good. And one of you might feel an excitement about it. And the other may be, have the harder part of it, the heavier load of it. It might take be a little bit harder on, on one person than the other. But once it's all said and done, it's going to be great for both people. Inspired, I breathe life into new ideas. Nice. And curious, I follow my intuition. Very nice. All right, so there's a lot of um, following these gut feelings, you know, like, okay, being brave, seeing it through, thinking that the timing is now, taking a leap of faith, even if it means having to defend your position against people who don't really understand or who aren't really, you know, 100% behind you on this. All right, so, <laughs> and who wouldn't be? I don't know. Who wouldn't be behind you on this? Let's see what the romantic fairy has to say about it. Ooh, you are a perfect match. You complete each other in the most harmonious way. So there you go. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Universe and you know that you're the perfect match. And don't worry about outside energy. I think it, if there is something you have to defend against, it's only because people may be envious, may want what you've got may just it may just take them a little adjusting before they can you know come to to realize this is the way it is now this is the new uh, the new situation <laughs> all right so let's see what are some messages from your person you can be uh, the pink love notes or your person whatever you want or both from your person you are radiant You have, don't forget about me. I forgive you. I want things to be different. Loving you is all I want to do. And from the beige ones. You have, you are everything I could ever want or need. I'm in a better headspace now. Anything else? Beige always has less to say. <laughs> you are perfect. I love, I just love all of you. Okay. All right, let's see now what your enchanted embrace, I mean your enchanted kiss messages are. There you go. We have, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. I've been locked inside your heart-shaped box for weeks. I drown in your memory. I can see through, see through, see through you, see your true colors. And inch by inch, we get closer and closer to every, every little part of each other. All right, one final message from the My Fairy Tale is Real. We've got, I trust you. And don't you know? <laughs> Anything else? And Goonies never say die. Okay, 
So it's like, it ain't over till it's over. Like this is a connection that is, it has a kind of a destiny feeling. It's meant to be, you know, and it's going, moving on to the next level. I feel like a, an interesting adventure on ahead for you here. So let's see what your charms have to say. Mm, should we use these or the baby ones? Oh, I know, I was gonna check my mailbox because I got some letters. I ordered some new letters, but they're not, they have not arrived yet. So we're just gonna go with some charms. All right, we have the, we have India, we have Holland, <laughs> Lighthouse, Air Power, Power of the Air, which could also represent air signs and power within those signs. Speaking of power, we also have the female dragon. This represents CEOs and strong, powerful females and feminines. We have love. We have true love here. <laughs> nice. We have bicycle. There's always movement. We have infinity symbol. We have the, the cheese with the piece out, which m makes me feel like it's time to share or it's a good idea to share, to always give a little bit of what you have with somebody. You've got um, the ruby, which is kind of like a strength symbol. It's just strength and love and and rubies were buried underneath a foundation of a, like a building in order to make it stronger. We have the love symbol for specifically November babies because this used to have a citron in it. And we have, this is the um, Junior Achievement Award. So I feel like this could represent something something that you're achieving. It could be having to do with school or um, a promotion at work or some kind of leveling up somehow uh, to the next level. And maybe Junior representing sort of a young spirit out there. Then we have the angel wing. We have the letter X. We have the elephant, which is about family and also a familiar feeling with somebody like you've known them before you have the wheel here that can represent the captain's wheel oh you got two wheels two captain's wheels which also to me makes me think of the wheel of fortune and sometimes mercury retrograde and as above so below and like what you put in you will receive tenfold so I feel at, I'm getting a kind of a generosity thing here um, you have two elephants and they both feel like familiar and fam you know that kind of sense of community and family and, um, and then just junior achievement getting some kind of reward or compensation for work put in so something like that with your w within your community feels like and cheese by sharing and the I've never really tied in all the the charms so nicely before but it feels like the wheels are in motion with the bicycle and the captain's wheel like you're really putting in a lot of good work and you're getting a fortune coming back at you you're getting the money you're getting the success it's gonna feel like like you're building or whatever um, job company that you that you're working for whether it's for yourself or somebody else it's going to feel like suddenly that they're very um, abundant and profit making a lot of profit and it could also be investments too <laughs> i don't know where i'm getting all this but yeah so interesting and and power you know power from from the dragon and power from the air of windmill is powers up with energy very beautiful very strong and a good energy coming through and a true love a powerful true love here as well <laughs> all right you guys well i'm gonna move on to the next and you sure can wel welcome to come with me if you want to and i'll see you at the next time. all right and here's pile two with mulan and Li Shang. let's see what your fair your fairy your princess letterman has to say
What is going on for you? <laughs> you have a visitor. Ooh, a visitor. Ding dong. Oh my gosh, that's too many. Do feelings for the visitor. Let's see if that comes back out again. All right, well, not deep feelings, but deep talks. Wisdom, ooh, only time will tell, and high self-esteem. High, high self-esteem is gonna be real important here with, with this person coming in. Oh, but you're gonna talk to them. <laughs> ah, and it's, only time will tell, but it'll come sooner than you realize. Let's see what your, your, oh my gosh, I'm giving everything the wrong name. What your tarot has to say. What does your tarot have to say? bumping into this one this time all right you you have eight of pentacles very good some doing some work designing project seeing mastery artistry and collecting oh son very nice very nice you whatever you put work and effort into is going to be so successful you have a lot of clarity coming through joy happiness abundance the works in any area especially if you have good focus and persistence all right Oh no, very nice. <laughs> I just, I'm like, I know, spirit, I know, isn't this nice? So nine of pentacles, dreams coming true, abundance again. Um, whew, this could represent the single person too, sitting pretty, just doing so well for yourself, like big money time for you. And somebody may be noticing that that could be part of the talks, you know, like, that's how they noticed you. Like noticing you are so, oh my gosh, look at that. 10 of pentacles too. <laughs> so this is like a moving up into desiring something more, like a legacy, like a, a name. I wanna give you my name kind of energy, you know? Yeah, and that represents marriage and home life and family life. And look at that puppy. Isn't he so cute? It's like, look at all of that. The puppy. <laughs> and that represents the old and the young within the family. So, so sweet. All right, so I'm going to get some more messages now. Let's get a little bit um, of springtime. What's going on? What's going to, not so much messages, but um, what's going to happen in the spring? Well, this is a weekly message, but we also like to zoom out big picture, <laughs> just like what I did. So here's some springtime messages. And it's also for whenever anybody stumbles upon it. So it needs to be flexible enough to be timeless, too, for some people watching. Let's see what we get. And it's like I'm doing it for present and future. 
but I haven't even, I'm like in the process of making it. And it will one moment will be a complete project. Look at you have the overloaded also. So pile one got overloaded. Only take on what I can handle. And so that makes me think that, you know, God only gives us what we can handle. And there is something that maybe feels a little burdensome, a little bit, um, it could be slightly frustrating the timing that you're dealing with or the waiting process, but because it fell under time. And I think, you know, just with a little more patience, you'll be able to see this come through. So don't be too worried about the timing. It's, it, it's happening way faster than you realize in the bigger picture of things. And if it happened any faster, you may not be able to handle it, right? So it's coming at you at a time that when you will be able to handle it the best. Blocked, <laughs> but you will push through, okay? And it's also sometimes, you know, you've heard the, the expression, um, rejection is protection but i also feel that challenges are meant certain challenges are meant to test your strength and your willpower and your determination and your desire to push through so there's that as well all right let's see now what the romantic fairy has to say Oh, you have self-love. Love yourself first. So that is what you got to do right now. Love yourself first and everything will fall into place. All right, we're going to get some messages now from your person. And we're going to start off with a beige love notes one. They could be from your person or they could represent your feelings, but... I'm going to have part one and part two, and you can decide if one is one of them's from you, one of them's from your person, or they're both from your person. All right, let's see. We have. I guess the light I see in you is what you see in me. Yes, <laughs> it is in fact. And sometimes I wonder if I'm good enough for you. I still love you. This time when I come back, I, I'm here for good. This time I won't lose you. Very nice. All right, and let's see what the part two has to say. This could also be two sides of their personality <laughs> or two, just two, two different kinds of feelings that they have different kinds of messages or they kind of could go together or they can have be a conversation within their he own heads <laughs> let's see we have you are the song of my soul I need your body I miss your touch I'm still hurt from the past Maybe one more. You are my joy. You are my light. You are my peace of mind. So in answer to this one, I feel this time when I come back, I'm here for good. This time I, I won't lose you. The response is, please, you know, you are my joy. You are my light. You're my peace of mind. So that's really nice. Okay. So let's see what your enchanted kiss says. You have leave all thoughts of the life you knew before. And forever trusting who we are. My poor heart aches with every breath you take.
and you're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. I drown in your memory. I can see through you, see your true colors. Very nice. Okay. That one also came out in pile one. Seeing the true colors. All right, let's see what your, my fairy tale is real message is. All right. My love is not fragile. <laughs> They're stronger than they look. As you wish. That's a good one. I love that one. Anybody like Princess Bride? Here we go. Let's try one more. Quitting is not an option. You've improved my life. When I, I see you when I close my eyes. Woo, nice. All right, let's see what your charms have to say. Okay, let's see. We have then this is the big masculine ring, all right? And so it can mean two things. One, that masculine's taking off their ring. Maybe they have an, a, a connection with somebody and now it's time to, 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 to detach from that. Or maybe they're connecting with you. <laughs> and you've got committing, like committing to you. We've got the camera, so this could represent selfies and taking pictures of each other and looking at each other on social media and, and things like places like that and we have the sun which shines on everything just makes everything bright and beautiful we have lieutenant destin mateus this is kind of military um, very chivalrous strong type we have idea a good idea coming through you guys a very good idea 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 <laughs> 11 so one half of the twin flame here and we have the elephant also with memories and recognition and feeling connected to somebody as like they're so familiar but also um, a very strong family connection within your own family and ancestry and and tightness tight family connection but also familiar as if this person feels like family you know there is interesting in the Bible, the Song of Solomon or Song of Songs, the way they sing, sing to each other, the way they, that there's this back and forth exchange, um, the masculine in that David, I think, um, singing to his beloved is saying, you're like my sister. And in that context of that, I kind of got really deep into the me the meaning and message behind all of that through Margaret S Starbird, <laughs> and who who really dove deep into the whole um, Da Vinci Code stuff and Jesus and Mary and all being married and all of that. So I kind of went through a little phase where I just dove into that kind of soulmate or twin flame relationship before I even knew anything about twin flames or really knew what it you know what it was going to mean to me and and that whole phrase and she was the one that mentioned that when in those days when somebody you know said something like that like you're my sister it meant like your family like your your blood is is meant to to meld with mine you know we're meant to be together and have children and things like that. So it was an in interesting play on words and nothing that we would say now, like you're, you know, if you feel connected with somebody, you wouldn't call them your sister, <laughs> but, um, you know, if, in a romantic way, but in that song of Solomon, I know that's going off on a bit of a tangent, but it just came to mind and spirit asked me to pass it along for anybody who it resonates with. Definitely when you, meet a certain person you feel like have i have we met before that fa familiar feeling and i feel like it's just so significant to me that familiar and familial familial 
are so close together and so it's very similar that can in soul family you know how we are our soul families reincarnate together and and you're still finding the people that belong in your soul family you know maybe you haven't been, you haven't met everybody yet that you've reincarnate incarnated with in this lifetime and there's some some um, soul connections out there still meant to be found and then you have the ship here so it could represent across seas um a long distance and it also can represent traveling and and someone coming towards you because we started off first thing with visitor right yeah yeah <laughs> all right you guys i hope you like that and you're welcome to move on to the next one with me all righty and next we have naveen and tiana and let's see what your princess lenderman has to say We have leisure and party. Nice. Sounds like fun this week. Could be beyond this week and into you know the next coming weeks. We have direction and sleuth. So. Hmm. Maybe, um, just maybe, oh, maybe, so you might be going somewhere to a party or something, or you might be going to a place and you have to sort of, uh, research it a little bit, you know, like find out more about it. The sleuth always makes me feel like doing some research, doing some background check, doing some um, vetting, <laughs> you know, checking something out a little bit more. Also, it could be like watching a person, like somebody's watching you or you watching somebody on social media. But this is all dependent, you know, the direction on, on where you go depends on what you find out about something but i think you you know if you're going to be invited to a party i would say go i think it's a good idea i think it might be fun so choose but you might have to choose whether you want to do this or something else i think you should enjoy have fun all right let's see what your tarot has to say Yeah, something is developing from this. You'll fi you can find out more if you just look into it a little bit. And you do your own research on this and it will come out. So a lot of people are getting this de defense stuff. Um, I just feel like p this pile one got the defense and this feels like protecting, you know, this could be anything that you're defending. It could be your connection with the person. It could be your opinions, <laughs> your point of view. You may just feel like strongly like you have to defend your ideals, your opinions, your point of view. Um, it's not so much you're going to be so attacked. And maybe that's just it. Maybe you're not really attacked. Maybe you're just perceiving an attack. Maybe you're just slightly more defensive than you need to be. But either way, whether you have to defend or you or you don't really have to defend, you're not going to be alone in this. Your knight in shining armor is going to come through. <laughs> and he's like, I got you. I got your back. Don't worry. Nobody's going to hurt you. Um, I got a sword. You, got the, you just have the stick. And you're holding him off. That's great. But um, I'll be here to, to protect you and take care of you. And so, yeah. Um, Maybe you're worried about going to a party because they're gossipy people. Or maybe there's a party of people on social media. You have to be very careful how you navigate through this. And, but there's somebody really, look at that. The Knight of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Sweet. So this is definitely, it feels kind of twin flamey. It feels like um, the connection here could be two air signs, but definitely one younger person, one of uh, the, maybe, this is just for some of you who resonate. You may be an older woman and your knight might be a little bit younger than you. 
It could also represent um, just the fact that the knight doesn't it can be your age or even older than you, but they're very physically active, they're very bold, and knights are about action. So all you have to do is receive and your knight will come to you. Oh, I love that. Look at, and they're both very like optimistic faces, like very positive. A lot of times Queen of Swords can be sort of, um, you know, tense or, or kind of the, the, how shall I say this? <laughs> um, of all the queens, she usually has the worst rap. Like she looks kind of um, particular, a little bit harsh, you know. And the in this deck, the queen just looks like a very lovely lady who is an air sign, <laughs> you know. So if you're Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, then that could represent you. But even if it's if you're not an air sign, it could represent your, you know, receiving this sword this energy look at that the king of swords with the queen of swords how beautiful so i think this is a perfect match okay this is the perfect match and see the king and the knight i feel like they're one and the same the knight shows that he is willing to come towards you and then you will be together on the throne isn't it interesting though how the king and queen on the throne are not even are not look they're not both facing forward and they're not necessarily faking this way they're not facing each other this way she would be facing him and he's not facing her so i think that that's why the the knight of swords had to come out to show that this is a connection where they're they are in alignment they're looking at each other they care about each other this is not i'm not feeling a three-way situation I'm feeling definitely these two energies are one and the same and his two different styles about him you know and he'll be action and then he's it's like he's claiming his throne and he's coming and he's taking his seat right by your side okay let's see now what your me like your springtime messages might be here we have Relieved. I'm calm and relaxed. And excited. I seize the day with a fresh outlook. Beautiful. Okay. That is good energy right there. We're going to stick with that. Now let's see what the romantic fairy has to say. All right, we have... Open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. You have real feelings and freedom. Very nice. Okay. So freedom is all about healthy space and room to breathe. Real feelings, you share true romantic feelings that are worth exploring. And open your heart, love is the highest energy of all, let it in. So don't be afraid to let this energy in it is positive, it is good, and um, this connection allows you room to breathe. It's not going to be a possessive or aggressive kind of situation. It's going to be this free, open feeling, connected, very eye-to-eye -eye connection. Also, you're, you know, speaking-wise, you're gonna really be clear, understanding each other. All right, let's see what your Enchanted kiss has to say.
we have, you're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. And I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman might. My poor heart aches with every step you take. I can see through you, see your true colors. And your soul is like a secret I could never keep. Oh, very sweet. All right. Oh, we didn't do our messages from Love Notes Part 1 and Part 2. Here's Love Notes Part 1. You are my safe place. You are my home. I want the whole world to know that I'm with you. That's nice. Some of people, I know it was Esmeralda, I think. No, no, no. It was, um, it was Giggles Rios who wanted so bad for her connection not to be in secret. I don't want to be rejected, so I stay silent. I feel safer not knowing the outcome. And you are perfect. I just love all of you. How far we go always seems to get better with time. When I look into your eyes, I get lost in you. See, <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right, let's see what the pink messages have to say. You have, do you really love me? Be my shield and protect me. I am my best self when you are around. I need you more than you will ever know right now. You freed me again with the freedom. Free, be feeling free. Free to be who you want to be. Free to express yourself. Free to, you know, even in a close bound situation where two people just feel so connected, so blissfully unified. There is this glorious freedom within it. There's not a, a sense of being tied down like some connections or even marriage feels like that sometimes. So that this is not one of those kind of connections. It feels very open and happy. All right, let's see what is about your fairy tale is real. You have your right. <laughs> You're right, I'm wrong. Only you. And your heartbeat is my favorite song. And I forgot what your skin tasted like until the ocean sprayed kissed my lips. Woo, that's such a romantic one. Do we need any more? <laughs> and Spirit's like, yeah, a whole bunch more. I love you more than ice cream. <laughs> All right, so let's get your charms now. Okay, you have, uh, oh my gosh, you have two men here. You have Dustin, uh, Lieutenant Dustin Mateus and Kristoff. So your guy could be like a combination of, of both, you know, very chivalrous, very strong, very military type, but also very gentle and loving and open and kind. 
This also could represent for some of you, two men or two masculines interested in you. I really definitely, I really thought these were one and the same. Very, very, very few of you. It could be two um, masculines interested. Like if you're the feminine, two masculine. Well, either way, just two people, two masculines interested in the feminine and just put yourself where you see yourself. This does give me a little bit of Arthur and Guinevere and Lancelot vibes. <laughs> So something like that could be happening here, but only for, I think that's only for a few of you, because I think for the majority of you, these two represent the same person. This is just them acting, being strong and moving towards you, and this is them claiming their throne. And I feel like that's still possible even with the two m males coming out here. And for a lot of you, it could be two... Um, same sex relationship here so two males here or two females all right so we've got this heavy weight it's holding it down very sturdy firm base you have a beautiful mermaid this is outward beauty and also internal um, amazing communication skills and we have water energy a lot of emotion and water could be water signs too involved um, definitely a lot of love energy. We have Archangel Gabriel who is making some kind of announcement or just asking you to look out because something major is about to happen. We have, um, f I love football. This could be, there could be a big burly football type masculine in this situation or feminine. <laughs> and we have, um, HK could be Hong Kong. And actually, yeah, what I'm saying is big burly doesn't necessarily mean that that person has to be masculine. That person can actually have quite a lot of um, stronger feminine qualities and still be very manly, you know? We have St. Anne pray for us. Um, that represents Christ consciousness for me and um, Jesus' grandmother and, and ancestry and angels, ancestors, guides, and, you know, any religion that you feel connected to, all of that is going to help you, help you out in your situations, in your life. You have the bicycle, it feels like it's always moving, always flowing. You have the dice with number five on it. And dice is to me represent, in this case, I feel like taking a chance. There's another dice that is attached to the dollar sign, so taking a chance would give you money. This one just says, take a chance. <laughs> something having to do with five you have cancer which is imaginative you have the little plane so small amounts of travel number four the stallion like ooh, like freedom that's exactly what the stallion represents like roaming free running free being so bold being bold and being expressing themselves freely yeah and the star and musician with the piano and star representing hope, the number 16. The pentacle means good stability and financial comfort. And it could be a gift to, yeah, somebody coming through to present you something. But with the swords, it's a little bit more about mental energy um, and insight, an epiphany, a leveling up of some sort, clarity. Um, a knowing, something coming through like that. And then that is all the base of the foundation. But you have other elements with water here too. So a nice balance of things for you. Oh, so nice. All right. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the next. And you're welcome to come with me. Oh, I, oh, I meant to zoom in a little bit. Here you go. Alrighty, and we have Cinderella and the Prince, and there we have the, the uh, slipper, her slippers right there. <laughs> Let's see what our princess messages, Letterman messages, have to say for group number four. We have... 
a motorcycle. Okay, unlock something that needs to be unlocked. With the support of people, you'll be able to unlock something and you're gonna have some good luck coming through. And happy changes, very nice. Okay, so there could have been this feeling like something was locked and, and hence unlocking it. So whatever you felt, whatever felt like maybe you couldn't get through or there was no access to it, <laughs> now the access is granted. It's like access granted. You may now pass, thou shalt pass. <laughs> All right, let's see what your tarot has to say. Okay, we have the um, Seven of Pentacles. So this is about growth, improvement. Um, this is like checking your work and seeing how everything's looking. And in relationship situation, it's like just taking a moment to pause and see how everything's going. Like what, what things um, don't seem to be working as well? What can you tweak? What do you need to hold on to? What do you need? You know, and it's to me, it's almost like pruning the garden, you know, getting rid of the weeds, <laughs> um, adding a little fertilizer. You know, what is it that you need to, to keep it going in the right direction, right? Everything might be okay. You know, everything might be fine, but there might be things that you need to, um, and need to do to sustain what's going on, right? like love like a flower it blooms and grows but it needs water and sunlight and i saw a funny quote it says um basically we're just house plants with feelings or something like that like we need light we need sunlight so get out into the sun sometimes we need water so drink plenty of water and you know we just need nourishment we need tender care and I feel somebody does care about you. Maybe there's somebody looking at you, watching you grow too. And this could be your higher self as well as spirit team just observing. And you observing yourself as well, like being present in the moment. This is a very helpful thing too. Like if you feel like your mind is kind of going uh, a thousand miles a minute and you're going out of control a little bit, stop for a moment and observe, observe your ego, observe your mind, your higher self, observe your ego self, and just think, okay, what do I, what is, what made me feel this way? Why am I feeling this way? If you felt triggered or if you felt um, some work, some self-talk, bad self-talk come in or some doubt creep in, then stop and ask yourself about it, talk to yourself about it. And that will help kind of alleviate the moment. And if you can't really, if you don't really have time for that, or if you don't really want to explore that in the moment, you know, just even just taking a moment to enjoy some pleasant thing, you know, breathing in a flower, looking at something beautiful and just appreciating that, that wonderful thing. Okay, let's see. That can help change your perspective a lot in the moment. I don't know why I got all of that at once, but we have um, the Nine of uh, Wands. So it's it's interesting because in a lot of cards, the Nine of Wands looks sort of like that. It's like a, a bandaged person, you know, taking stock of everything. So there could be the um, maybe you were wounded, but maybe it's just kind of like um, an ego wounding, you know, maybe pride a little bit. So um, there's a little bit of just um, taking stock of the moment, figuring out what you need to do, and then moving on. But I feel like this is like, don't take anything too hard. Don't take it too personally. <gasps> Look at that. You got the Knight of Swords. So somebody's coming through for you. Like there could be somebody who wants to come towards you 
but they've been, you know, they've been through a lot. You know, maybe they've been through a lot. Like they put in a lot of work in. They're taking a time looking at their work. They've been through a lot. And then they decided, okay, I'm pushing forward. You know, there's still more to do and I'm coming towards you. So, yeah, we had the night come out in the last pile. But I feel like um, in this pile is even more like knight in shining armor energy this strong bold action forward to you and we have the four of swords very peaceful so this is oh, interesting okay so this is meditation it's like dream world it's like the subconscious it's rest it's a peaceful moment exactly what you need like this peaceful moment being bringing in your own peace is what helps make this person come towards you with such a bold a bold sentiment a um you know full power full force the swords are about power and energy and 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 mental energy too and and dynamics and um inspiration enlightenment an aha moment a kind of like this is now time to act full force and the four of swords is this person being in the mind and when i'm in this kind of mind is the conscious mind being aware the awareness but also subconscious like in the dream world and in the, in more of a meditative state and a peaceful state. So very interesting mind connection. Could it be telepathy as well? You know, where you're really connecting strongly telepathically. All right, let's see what your springtime messages say. This reading is for the week, but it could definitely go on to other, to the future <laughs> to other weeks it's whenever you stumble upon it as well all right you have fascinated i thoroughly explore my interests so something really is piquing your i your mind your interest your something that you're going to delve into maybe deeper with your psyche it could be a connection with somebody. Well, there a lot of creativity here. I write my own story. Ah. <laughs> wow, so you're right you're writing your fairy tale. And your fairy tale is you've decided you're going to manifest this in the way you want it want to and you're you're going to do it in a very creative way like you've you're fascinated by some information that you got you i feel like with all these swords energy you're very intelligent and also educated and you don't just um um poo poo ideas you you're fascinated by them you're like okay how can i unlock this ability to manifest the law of attraction so I can have this relationship or connection that I want, you know, or whatever it is that you want. How can I un unlock this to bring this forward to me? Because I truly desire this. And I feel like you're going to really make this happen. So this one's a little, it's kind of like deeper in the, in this, the psychological mind the third eye crown chakra energy coming through here let's see what the romantic fairy has to say oh a soulmate coming through you have found your romantic counterpart let's see what else well i guess i'm only getting one of these okay yeah. everybody's got one of those all right so let's get some messages now so we're gonna use the love notes part one beige for the 
however you want to see this tell me what I can do to make things right call me please I really need to hear from you so don't leave me masculine could be the masculine reaching out to you this way or this could be you or however you want to see it you're perfect I just love all of you so let's see what love notes part two has to say Don't forget about me. You are radiant. And you got, you are my best friend. Friendship is a great basis to a lot of connections. You are the first person that comes to mind. Guide me, please. Show me what to do. So there's a lot of like, what do we need to do? You know, um, decision-making time. What, what can I do to make this right? And this is guide me and show me what to do. This could be one in the same energy or it could be an exchange, a kind of conversation. When I do the, use these cards on TikTok, I often take them to the conversation place, you know, back and forth in the conversation. Okay, let's see what your enchanted kiss has to say. We have, if I stand or fall, it's not, it's all or nothing at all. I've got to breathe. I can't keep going under. When destiny calls, you must be strong. The vision that was planted in my brain still remains. It starts in my soul and I lose all control. <laughs> okay, so let's see what your fairy tale, my fairy tale is real. I love you more than smoothies. Mm, and I love smoothies a lot. <laughs> okay. And It's not the same. Like, not the same without you. You're my hero. I can't smile without you. Yeah, it's definitely not the same. But you know, when you make changes, then definitely things are going to be different. <laughs> uh, I'm a better person because of you. More than you know. Destiny is stronger than doubt. Ooh, good one. All right, let's see what your charms have to say. All right, you have the cannon with explosive feelings. This to me is like orgasmic stuff right there. You have reach. You have the wrench, which means repairing things. You have um, St. Anne again, Christ consciousness, Jesus' grandma. You have more uh, interesting Mary Magdalene, Jesus' wife. <laughs> so like a family thing here. Uh, we have the frog of good luck and the airplane possible travel. You have the Italian arch, so it could be some kind of Italian connection. You, I knew you were going to get named too. And you have Olaf the snowman, which represents things that are temporary. So if something is bothering you, 
just realized it's temporary. It's only going to melt. It's going to melt like this now. Yeah. And I realize that <laughs> I need to practice that more myself. You know, don't hold on to think something that bothers you and replay it and replay it and replay it in your mind. Let go of it as fast as you can and realize it's not even going to be significant tomorrow. And even if it is significant, it's not going to feel the same way it did when you first heard it, right? If you didn't like it or whatever, if it was something unpleasant. So just realize, and then with time, it, it melts like the snow and it's almost like it wasn't there in the first place. But also the snowman represents how good moments are also um, fleeting. So like a sunset or something like that, just like really savor it when you're in that, in the presence of something beautiful like that. And so yeah, frog, good luck. Star, whether it's a starfish or a star in the sky, always represents hope. But starfish could be having something to do with the water and the sea. We've got um, a fairy. Oh wait, no, this is a special fairy. We have um, the bird. This is communication. Oh, the sword. See, the sword came out and swords represent to me or this is more like the knife, but I see it as the sword. The sword, sharp objects, pointy things to me represents truth. Truth and justice and, you know, clarity, something good coming your way. You have a lot of magic coming through here. You have a lot of creativity too, and creativity with your, with specifically with like computers and electronic devices. And you have music coming through. You have a dream an awesome dream so be brave you are hold out your hand to receive but also you are a giver so there's this equal flow of giving and receiving coming through and you have the number 12 and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and adjust it <laughs> my fairy look okay everybody the fairy this is faith trust and pixie dust all it takes to fly is faith, trust, and pixie dust. So those are the main steps in order to manifest your dreams come true. So basically, flying represents, you know, that ultimate destiny. And you can get to it. You can lift off. You can achieve. You can get to where you're going by having those 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 steps, taking those steps. So faith is believing in something that you can't see. Trust is letting go of the how and just letting the universe take care of it and surrendering how, you know, surrendering the how. Don't focus on the how it's going to happen. Just trust that the universe knows how. And then the pixie dust is the magic that comes through when everything is all aligned perfectly. Look, you have the honeycomb, which is the sweet, sweet homemaking, you know, just like creating a sweet scenario, sweet home. And you have fairies whispering to you and you have names. So when name comes out, it is time for Scrabble. All right, you got the letter A, E, Y, J, E, I, E, A, N. Look, you have Jean. Almost have my name. My name is Jean, but it's spelt with two N's and an E. But you have like Jean and Jeannie. And yeah. <laughs> or yay. Okay, so you might see your name, you might see some initials, other words and things that jump out at you, but for now, that is what I'm giving you. I feel also if you had a question, hmm, it could go both ways, so we have yay and nay, <laughs> um, but definitely there is a strong yes energy and yeah yeah because in, in, even in german <laughs> all right but take take it how you want to take it it's beautiful message here and i hope you guys like that and before i go i'm going to shout out all my members if you want to become a member all you have to do is hit the join button and just pick a tier 
The tears start at Platinum Pixies and Cheryl Borelli and Raggy and Amira and Claudia are in that category. Then we have Golden Fairies, Leo Sunchild, Twin Flames, Luisa Silva, Jolene Sutton, and Silver Empress Tarot, Fool of Faith or Silver Star Priestess, Guacamole, Weird Sister Oracle, Mary Joy Lawlin, Arrows Mind Wesley, Sonic King, Anastasia, and Wolfie. And then my Sparkles of Light, JR, Divine Goddess, AA, Patricia, Kim, Chrissy, Jessica, Brian, Giggles, Miss Fred, Luce, Unstruck, Charisma, Terry, Esmeralda, Gloria, and Luna. Thank you guys. All it takes is $1.99. And then you can chat for free in my live events and get free pendulum readings. My Patreons are Melanie, Trini, Terry, and Marie. And thank you too on Patreon pages where I will post upcoming artwork of my latest decks that I'm working on. So take a look at that. You get a little sneak peek by being a Patreon on the Patreon page. Thank you all so much for joining me. <laughs> and uh, Fae Trust and Pixie Dust. <laughs>